Hey guys, welcome to my review of the ICS L85 carbine, purchased from evike.com for $300. Both the upper receiver and the lower receiver on this gun are full metal. The only plastic parts on this gun are the pistol grip, cheek rest, and the front grip. The gun has some pretty nice looking trademarks on both the magwell and the forward grip. The carbine has a functioning bolt and bolt catch. Pull the bolt back, then lift the bolt catch. From here you can adjust the hop up unit with your finger, or a screwdriver. The outer barrel is also full metal, and so is the selector switch, the magazine release, and the safety. The rifle comes stock with a carry handle, which acts as both an iron sight, but can be replaced by the SUSAT scope. The SUSAT scope features a x4 magnification and an obelisk with three different brightness levels. The scope has optional iron sights to engage close quarter targets, and can be easily mounted to the gun using two thumb screws. To access the battery compartment, take apart the front handguard. There is enough space for two small type 9.6 batteries, but not for a large type. One complaint I have is that the latch on the handguard will come out of place during games. It is small and delicate, and can easily be broken, so be careful. The gun comes in a very nice box. It even has a carry handle, which could be very useful. Inside the box, you will find an instructional DVD, an instruction manual, a 400 round metal high cap magazine, minus the Magpul, and some really nice ICS BBs. The gun can be fully disassembled by taking out two pins. The DVD tells you how to disassemble the gearbox as well, so no more looking around YouTube for a disassembly video. If you hate wobble, then you'll love this gun. This gun only has a little wobble in the magwell, and hardly any wobble in the whole gun itself. The gun comes stock with an ICS Turbo 3000 motor, giving it amazing trigger response. It also has a decent rate of fire for a 9.6 small type battery. From a distance of 75 feet with some wind, I was able to land fairly accurate shots. Your accuracy may differ depending on how well you calibrate your sights. The wind was blowing towards the left, which is why a lot of my shots ended up where they are. But I was still able to land one shot in the 10 ring. And this is what I got after messing around on fully automatic. You will definitely be able to shoot a head sized target from 75 feet away with this gun. Alright, so this concludes my first review of the ICS LE5 carbine. If you still have unanswered questions about this gun, feel free to ask and I'll try my best to answer them. If there is something you want me to include in future reviews, please let me know. If you have any requests for another review, go ahead and send them. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, comment, and have a nice day.